Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther Vision and welcome to a new accelerator where I'm going to show you some tricks and tips how to accelerate your workflow in Adobe Illustrator. So let's go. So the first one is how to export with actions. Because let's be honest, like exporting a lot of files, it's like super robotic. There's like also softwares that you can use to do this stuff. Um, I'm gonna show you a free method how to use it. So I tried it out with actions, uh, how to export like every kind of files, like you can customize however you want it. Uh, for example, there's like the export, export to screen. This is also an option. You can uh, put PNG, you can add whatever you want it here, change it. But you know, it's it's like limited. Let's say you wanna export a PSD or a EPS or AI or something like that and uh, you want to customize that stuff. So let's say we got a star that we need to export. I'm gonna click on this, go to file. Of course, I'm gonna resize the artboard, script, click on this, there you go. Second step is basically I use this automation, source, stock, click, play, and it's gonna export in every kind of ways and forms. I'm gonna show you how to do this. I don't even know where, where it's saved because uh, that's an old script, but anyways, you need to create a new folder, create new set, click on it, rename it, export, click OK, then now select create new action. I'm gonna type in start. And now the action has started, you know, to record. You can't use here shortcuts, by the way, here, when you record, you need to do it everything manually. So the software records those. So go to, go to file, Let's say save as, I'm going to save it to the desktop. So, oh yeah, there's like a folder. You also can make a folder. This folder is going to be the default for folder where everything is going to be exported. This is the disadvantage, by the way, because everything is going to be in a folder from there. You need to empty that folder and then you can exp export more stuff, more, more things. So I'm going to go to export. I want to export it in EPS use artboard select save and use the settings you want and then click ok let's do it again file save s eps uh, let's try it out a pdf i don't know let's save it and as you can see here it's recording every save s let's go to file export export s i'm gonna go with a I don't know, PNG, use artboard, export, I don't know, click OK. From here, where basically you did your job, you just click on stop playing and there you go. And when you want to export something, you click on this, press on play and it's going to export you everything. Direct selection tool versus squeezer tool. This is a big one. I see a lot of designers uh, do this incredible mistake. So this is the direct selection tool and this is the squeezer, squeezer, blah, squeezer tool. Okay, so uh, what I see, you know, people using this stuff, they just uh, cut with the uh, squeezer. They select the squeezer and they go to the anchor point click on the anchor point and this is how you cut with the squeezer and as you can see we have two pieces we can do the same thing way faster with the direct selection tool which is located right here so i'm going to press a it selected the direct selection tool select this anchor point you don't need to focus just select like this and then press on delete and uh you know with the with the squeezer tool you need to focus on this little tiny thing to hit it you know like this and this, you know, maybe you're drunk and you're not hitting in the right place and you go with the direct selection tool and you select all this huge space and click on delete, you know, and you just made it. Now there's like another alternative. So I'm gonna select these two anchor points and I go here, cut path at selected anchor points, click on it and voila, there you go. You can cut it in pieces, however you, however you want it. I select these also, I'm gonna cut it. Okay, let's talk about the reflect tool. It's located right here. The rotation tool is usually up and the reflect tool is down. So how you reflect? You select your uh, shape, uh, you go to the reflect, click it, you press and hold alt, click on this anchor point, for example, because from here I wanna reflect it. 
click on it and you know if it's not horizontal you need to switch it to vertical and click copy it takes a lot of steps it's annoying when you got a lot of vectors going on and you need to you know reflect a lot of stuff and it's so manual and annoying and there's like another solution i found the less annoying and less uh, exhausting for the brain i just made an action for example horizontal click on it and it's gonna reflect it here just pull it there you know i found it like less uh, exhausting i'm gonna reflect it for example with vertical and there you go again horizontal i don't even know where they you know it's gonna copy it a little bit more far but uh i think it's a little bit more effective i don't know i saw this somewhere so how to do this how to achieve this the same way you just create um, you know a folder with this great new set rename it create a new action rename it then click on record select this actually you see that if i moved it it is going to move also it's, it's going to record the section so uh, i didn't want <laughs> wanted to do it by reflex i did it but i won't go you can't go back you can't go back to the control z but anyways i'm gonna press and hold uh, actually gonna select the this reflect tool press and hold alt click on it click on vertical click copy and stop it i'm curious uh, what it does what it did because uh, i also recorded when i moved it so actually it's going to move it also up a little bit anyway so yeah this is it and the last step we got the zoom tool which is located right here you select it you press the letter z don't go and select just press the z and if i pull it then it's gonna you know some people click on it to zoom in you know to zoom it in you just need to drag it from left to right which is going to work pretty nicely it's it's interesting how it works i don't know for me i prefer to use this shortcut press and hold alt and scroll it i don't know i found this more uh, natural i don't know but uh, when you press and hold, press the zoom this is more smoother you know this is not that smooth but uh, it feels more natural i don't know so yeah what do you think uh, leave a comment down below and of course i'm planning to make uh, another episode on this part two or eventually part three if i'm gonna find some new stuff okay so this is it thanks for watching if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the other videos have a good one bye bye